Hi, this is Bill. Today I want to share with you a method for actually letting kids dictate their typing into or their words into a Google document. And so it takes a little bit of a workaround. There's word that this may be coming to Google Drive in the future, but right now this is one method that you can use to make that happen. There are other ways to do it. This is what I would recommend as of now. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to Chrome. This really only works in Chrome. And so once you're in Chrome, we need to go to the web store. So when you create a new tab, chances are you're going to see just the regular Google page. In the upper left hand corner, you should see a grid that says apps. And clicking on that is going to open up your apps. Now I already have the voice recognition app installed, but what I want to show you is where you go about getting that and how you can go about installing that. So first of all, one thing that you do need to know is that this depends on how your, if you're a Google Apps environment, it depends on how this is set up as to whether or not kids will be able to use it. Regardless, they can still use this same approach, they just may have to go about it a different way. This is what I would suggest if you're going to be using it on a regular basis. So first of all, go to the Chrome Web Store. When you click on the Chrome Web Store, it's going to take you to the actual Web Store. And in that, what we want to look for is voice dictation. Okay? And there is a tool called voice recognition. It is from dictation.io. And that's actually the website that you go to based on this app. So dictation.io is the name of the site and voice recognition is the name of the app. And when you click right up here, it's going to say free, just like this one does here. I already have it installed. That's why it says this up here. But when you go there, it's going to open up this window. And then up here, it's going to say add instead of launch app. As soon as you do that, what happens is it's going to then show up in your list of apps right here just like I have voice recognition and when I click on voice recognition it is going to launch the dictation.io website so in this case as you can see the website is up here and this is where my dictation is going to be so this is pretty straightforward it's you're going to say right here start dictation at the top it's going to say that you, it wants to use your microphone. Yes, we want to allow it to use my microphone, so I'm going to click Allow. And now, when I talk, it's going to recognize my voice and change that into text. Period. New sentence. At this point, the computer is doing the work for me. Period. Now when I'm done, I'm just going to click stop listening down here at the bottom. And this is my text. I have some other options down here. I can clear, which basically clears this page, or I can export. Now I don't suggest that you use the export button because what that does is it makes it a text file, which is a TXT file, which isn't editable inside of Google. So at that point, what I would suggest you do is come up here and highlight the text copy it, and then go over to a Google Drive document that you have and paste. And then you have your text in there. Now, it's not perfect. You are going to have errors. Kids are going to have to go back through and reread their text to make sure that it makes sense and that Google did a good job of translating their speech into text. But this gives them a good start and gets them going in creating a document. So I hope that helps. This is one option that you have available. Just be sure you go back and check out that web store and install that app there. Now, if you don't have the ability to install that app, all you have to do is go to the website dictation.io. And that website is essentially what's going to come up here It'll work the exact same way as it did when I used the app. It's just kind of a shortcut on that app store. So I hope that helps, and I hope this helps your students get started if this is something that they need.